created textbooks was to ensure that the ideas, thoughts, the learning that I have had from so many places comes together in a culmination of effort and something that will last as a legacy. I've got a set of English textbooks called Empowering English. It goes from grade 1 to 8. And it's basically skills-based curriculum. It's literature. It's contemporary. It's layered and scaled because I believe that what is not revisited is lost as a skill. It also comes with manuals on how to teach. So the methodology that I'm talking about for the teacher is very, very important. And if the teacher uses some of those methods, then she gets to be an international teacher. So there is no you know, a speciality about those teachers that differentiates them hugely from what we, are, we can do. And it doesn't matter if you're an SSC school or an IB school. You should be able to do that. So I believe with Empowering English, it is both child and teacher education that comes in, in together as a package. The Writing with Ease book that was meant to scaffold Empowering English actually became a big book. It is 500 pages, it's got all the genres, it's got example structures and target vocabulary, and it tells you how to write just about anything. And the booksellers call it the Renan Martin of writing. So that kind of explains it. Uh, the other set of books I've got is for grammar and writing and oral work, which is called Language with Ease. Now, language with ease came because grammar, as we learn it, does not help. Because if you ask any adult to pick out an adverb, he's going to probably fail in the task. So grammar learning should ideally build back into vocabulary learning, into writing. And that is what the book attempts to do. It's done daily for five minutes. It's manipulated. So if you have an adjective, you change it to several adjectives orally. So there's a lot of listening and there's a lot of learning in terms of vocabulary, phrasing. And this eventually builds into writing. So all first generation learners of English in a school would do extremely well to use a system like language with ease rather than use an exercise book with their you know, regular grammar streams which are linear and which are forgotten instantly. So the reason for books are so that they stay as thoughts, even if the people are not ready for it today, probably tomorrow they will be. Thank you.